Hi everyone, welcome to module eight. Just a couple of um, announcements about the week so that you can ease into the week and see what we're doing. Um, I'd also like to give you a few reminders about spring break, your options for spring break. Um, and then I wanna talk for a few minutes about medium. Um, we are looking at medium as a part of the rhetorical situation during module eight. So we've discussed purpose and audience and exigence and genre. You already know what context is, but every essay is in a context. Um, and so now for essay three, uh, we're starting essay three in module eight, um, you will learn about medium. So what's going on this week? Y'all, it is a reading week. There's not a lot of writing going on. So knowing that there's not a lot of writing going on during module eight, you might think about revising essay one. You will have it back and you have in, um, until March 27th to get that revision turned in. I've, I, I went ahead and I'm not following what the syllabus says about the deadline for that assignment. One, because I turned it back to you a little bit later than I planned to, um, but also just decided to give you some more time on that one um, for revising it one time. You all, a reminder that revision is not required of any of these essays. I say one, two, three, or four, um, when I offer these revisions during the semester. However, I will remind you that there's one required revision at the very end of the semester. It's a 250 point assignment um, to show me what you've learned about essay writing, argumentation, the rhetorical situation, rhetorical style, all these different things we've been studying through, you know, the end of week seven. Um, so I do recommend that you do the revision because um, then you're already starting to work on that end of semester assignment. Um, but of course, it's not required um, that you do it. You can work on the revision without trying to earn extra points or um, improve the quality of your writing on any of the assignments. Essay 1 is, in, is returned to you. Essay 2 will be returned to you probably by the end of the day on Tuesday. So you can also be working on revising Essay 2. And we're starting Essay 3 this week. But you all, it is a reading week, as I just said a moment ago. So you notice there's a lot. There's two videos. This is the video for Module 8. Module 7 video I'm going to post again just so you can hear me talking about um, the deadlines that have been moved out a little bit, like the workshop that's not happening until Module 10 and what's happening for spring break. So reminder you all that spring break is um, for Larimer campus. It starts a week from today, which is March 7th. Um, it starts on March 14th and goes through March 20th. Um, and then um, Westminster and Border County campus um, those two campuses are on spring break, the um, 21st through the 27th. So this really means that Module 9 is being repeated for two weeks. So you really have the opportunity, if you're not taking campus classes, to choose the week for spring break that works best for your schedule. And Module 9 will be, again, repeated for two weeks in a row, so you'll be able to complete those assignments um, no matter which week you do them in. Um, and so just a reminder on that. And then you can watch the Module 7 video again if you want to listen to me talk about all of that in more detail. So a lot of reading, you all, in um, Everything's an Argument. We're going to be learning about medium. So the first readings um, for day one are all about understanding what medium is. And, you all, I can define medium very quickly by telling you it's where your piece of writing is published. Um, genre is the kinds of writing that show up in the essay and medium is where a piece of writing is published. So what really occurs when we think about medium is that we're thinking about the essay's design, what it looks like. Um, so this might mean that you're focusing more on the visual nature of your essay writing. It might be thinking about the I'm going to go ahead and just put a few notes in the weekly schedule right here as I'm talking through this you all. Um, you might be thinking about um, font. You might be thinking about section headers. Uh, you might be thinking, oops, that's not really the word I wanted. <laughs> uh, you might be thinking about the balance between images and text. You might be putting more images in your writing um, in this piece. You might be thinking about colors, colored fonts. Um, you might be thinking about even um, hyperlinks. Um, so lots of things to be thinking about in terms of medium because it's the way the essay looks. 
It's the way the piece of writing looks. It might not even be an essay. It might be something else. It might be a newsletter. A newsletter has a certain look, right? It has columns um, and has images. It's not written like an essay um, that you write for a college class that's a white background with black text and is just put into paragraphs. It has those columns with paragraphs within the columns. It might be a blog, which again would have a balance between image and text but would also probably have hyperlinks would probably have a heading uh, across the top of the blog page um, that is in some way um, incorporating an image or some kind of font with um, that grabs our attention differently uh, maybe boldface font maybe some type of script font so lots of things to be thinking about in terms of what it looks like this um, piece of writing that you will be submitting for essay three. Um, I've had students submit newsletters, journals, um, some of you did some journal writing for essay two, but now really focusing on what the journal looks like, right? Um, not just putting it in that format. So um, I've had students write regular essays and just, you know, insert um, images. So you have a lot of options. I just mentioned three, but you'll be exploring the medium that you want to use actually during module eight, um, mostly focusing, I'm sorry, during module nine, <laughs> during the spring break, mostly focusing on your topic options um, during module eight. All right, so mostly reading to understand medium here, you all. The essay three instructions for day two, um, doing some reading. I've posted three different, excuse me, four different essays. All of the mediums are a little bit different. They have a different visual nature to them. So you'll pick one of them to read during module eight. Um, you're gonna be finding your topic, exploring your topic options for the only discussion board post of the week. Um, you're doing so much reading, y'all. There's not a lot of writing going on. So only one discussion board post in D2L. And then a reminder to think about revising essay one, which I've already talked about in this video, and then more reading, everyone. There's a lot of reading because um, we've already talked about three argumentative structures, three rhetorical structures. We've talked about the, the thesis and the um, argument, argumentative or persuasive appeals, pathos, logos, and ethos. Um, we also talked about inductive and deductive argument, and then we talked about that classical argumentative structure, which um, has to do with dispositio and then the six different sections of the dispositio, or the arrangement of the argument. So um, day three of module eight, we will be focusing on Rogerian and invitational arguments and the Tolman argument. These are two men who, you know, for lack of a better word, designed um, an argumentative type um, to help um, writers and speakers to argue effectively. And so these will be the last two argumentative structures that we learn in this class. And then we're going to read an example um, argumentative essay that is put in the Tolman structure. Um, and that's the last reading. So that's it, you all, for module eight. You know, thinking about essay three, you know, we're starting a new assignment, but kind of being pretty um, laid back about getting started because I really want you to pick a topic that you are interested in, connected to in some way, and then, um, you know, giving you some time for revision of the other two essays and some time for reading. So the last thing I'll say, um, everyone, is really try to pay attention to the genres and the medium of the example essays that you'll be reading for day two. There are four choices, as I mentioned before. And then when you read the other essay by Stephen Carter that is written in, an, in a Tolman argumentative structure, you really should try to um, pay attention to um, the structure of that argument. And the textbook is super helpful because it sort of puts some blue notations um, in the left margin to help you to see where the parts of that argument are. And Rogerian argument doesn't have parts to it the way the Tolman argument does. Uh, it has a few parts, but it's really a kind of argument that is. Um, thinking about the audience's need to enter into the argument. And so approaching an argument in a way where many perspectives are being considered. Um, and so that one is a, a little um, easier to understand. It doesn't have so many parts to um, add into the piece um, that you're writing. So looking forward to um, seeing what your topic options are 
and I hope you have a great week. And uh, last thing, I promise, rem last reminder is that it, this is the last week to get check-in meeting number one completed. I emailed you all on Friday if you needed to get that assignment done. So um, most of you have, um, but there's a handful of people who still need to do that. So ensure that you have made your check-in appointment for check-in meeting number one. Um, so that you can get those points. It's a pretty easy assignment. Meet with me for 15 minutes to talk about your writing. We can meet in Zoom. I'm also open to talking with you over the phone if you don't want to meet in Zoom. But either way, we need to hear each other talking and talking about your essay writing for the semester. So um, that reminder is down here in the third box that you know you have a deadline until 4 o'clock on March 11th to get the first check-in meeting done. Have a great week, y'all, and I will talk to you later. Bye.